Und hello, I am Mr. Siegel's little German cousin. My name is Gunther von Heisenberg III, and I'm here to talk to you today about your geometry lesson because Mr. Siegel's feeling very sick. Okay, well, Mr. Siegel told me today you'll be talking about central angles. Yes, there it is. Look at it, it's so cute. Oh, well, a central angle is just an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle. Look at it right there. It is so cute. A little 30 degree angle. Oh, it's so cute. Now, if you look at it, that is angle ABC. And since it has its point in the middle, point B, the center of the circle, that is what we call the central angle. Now let's look at something that maybe isn't a central angle, so you have a clearer picture. Now if you look on the left hand side, we are going to draw a very nice central angle for you. There's, oh look at that. And if you look right there, it goes right in the middle of the circle, which is perfect. Now if you look to the right, I'm going to show you something very evil. Oh look at, look what just happened. Where is that point? Stupid point, you are not in the center. You are not the central angle. Get out of here, I don't like you. So that is the difference between central angles and non-central angles. I hope you get it. Now, what we are going to be discussing now is called the sum of the central angles. Yes, there it is. In, oh, what is that noise? Is it the dogs? Okay, if you look at the sum of the central angles in any circle, if you have remembered this from your many years of schooling, you should know that in any circle, all the degrees should always add up to what in a circle? 360. That's correct, 360 degrees. There it is. So if you look at this circle below, if I were to add up these three central angles, what do you think they should add up to? Tell me. 360. 360 be correct. You are very smart for an American. Now, with that concept in hand, let's look at the other examples down here. If we look at this one, I notice that I have three central angles drawn. One being 130 degrees, right there. One being 90 degrees. And how did I know that? Yes, I saw that little square over there. <laughs> And finally, I have an X, but how will I find that X? I want to know so badly. Well, if I know they all add up to 360, what I think I can do is just take 130, add that to 90, and since I don't know what X is, I'm just going to add X, and those should all add up to 360. Well, from here, I just combine my like terms which is obviously the 130 and the 90. It is the same in Germany. Has anyone ever tried some Venus Mitchell, by the way? It's just delicious. We subtract the 220 now that we combine like terms, and that will give us our answer. And if you look at it, well, 360 minus 220 is quite obviously 140 degrees. Very nice, very, very, very nice. Okay, maybe we should look at another problem. This one. Oh, what's that? I have a phone call from Mr. Siegel. He wants to come back and teach you now, so I will be leaving, goodbye. Oh, hey kids, sorry, that was my German cousin. He's so crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna take it over from here. Um, so I'm looking at this one. Oh, we're doing sum of central angles. All right, I got it. I got you. So these three angles right here are all going to add up to what? Well, it's a circle, so it's going to add up to 360 degrees. So I guess what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take 140, add that to 130, and then add that to x because I don't know what that third angle is, or k, and that should all equal 360. I combine my like terms, which is now the 140, 130. I get 270 plus k equals 360. What do I do now? Oh, 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 I'm taking away 270 from both sides. 
and that is going to leave me with k equals 90 degrees. That's correct. Right. <gasps> boom, bang, boom. Easy. Let's just take a, a look at one challenge problem. This is taken straight from IXL. And right here, it's just oh, telling us. X is all variables. Oh, yep. All variables. What are we going to do here? Well, if you've been paying attention, we'll just start with the first fact. All three angles should all add up to 360 degrees because the sum of the central angle theorem says that all angles always add to 360. So what I'm going to do is just set my three angles equal to 180. So if I add all three angles up, x plus 47 plus x plus 65 plus 2x, well, they should all add up to 360 degrees. Well, now I just have to solve this equation. What do we do? We combine like terms. I got x, x, and 2x. Those guys are going to get together. And then my other like terms are 47 and 65, and those will be added together. So I add my x's up, and there's four x's there. I add my numbers up, and I get 112, and that should equal to 360. Next step, subtract 112 from the 360. Boom, that 112 is out of here. The 4x is now going to be equal to 248. Just kidding. Whoopsie. Sorry, my hand slipped. And by my hand, I mean Elizondo's. Never happens. And then we sub divide by 4, divide by 4, and our final answer is going to be 62. If I wanted to find out what any of those angles were, I could just plug x in, and that would be the final. Now look at the problem underneath here. That is the final challenge problem. Try that on your own and check with Mr. Elizondo or I, and we will tell you if you've done it correctly. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're lucky, maybe <laughs> my cousin, Gunther, will come back and join us. Peace.